pork butt. We're gonna make a sticky Asian influenced sauce, put it on a bun. This is a bone in pork butt. It's not a full butt, but it's on the smaller side. Um, but the first thing I'm gonna do is make a rub. So I'm gonna put in, it's about two tablespoons of kosher salt, and then like a half part black pepper. Half as much cumin too as the salt. Same with the coriander. And then just like a little bit of garlic, just to kind of bump it up. And then we just go high above, sprinkle your rub. We're gonna give this a flip and then get our other side. So we get the seasoning all the way around. So pork butt is now ready to smoke. So we have our chimney, you can see those coals are red hot. And I'm gonna just put some of those coals on the side. Same thing over here. And then I have some cherry wood here. I like smoking with fruit woods. Fruit woods are my first choice. They don't permeate too much. So I'm just gonna put a chunk on each pile. And then in between the flames, we are gonna place our pork butt. I have the vents here shut down pretty good. So I'm only at about a third open on my bottom vent. I'm gonna be a third open on my top vent. And that's gonna maintain around that 300 degree temperature I'm looking for. For a pork butt, I don't mind going a little hot and fast. So you could be anywhere between 275 and 325. We are gonna smoke this until it reaches an internal temperature of 205 to 210 degrees. That's when it's in the happy place for pooling. This is gonna take anywhere from five to six hours to cook. So next we're gonna make this sauce. And the sauce isn't gonna go on until we start pooling this towards the end of the procedure, but I'm just gonna get it done now. This is like a sweet, spicy, sticky sauce. So the first thing that we have is we have some fermented soybean paste, and I'm gonna go about a quarter of a cup. It's gonna get really nice flavor because of that fermentation. It's like salty and delicious. Same amount of honey as fermented soybean paste, so about a quarter of a cup. We have some Korean chili paste, a couple tablespoons. This is where your love or not love of heat is your call. Some Marin, which is Marin. like, a, it's like almost like a sweet Asian wine. Mm. A little bit of sesame oil, some sesame seeds rice vinegar. It's the most mild of the vinegar, so it's not gonna get too tart. And then I am going to plop in one clove of minced garlic. So in goes the garlic, some scallion. I don't like this really thick barbecue sauce. I like it to be a little bit on the thinner side. We're Big. still holding it about 305. Mm -hmm. We glaze this before we went out, close the lid back, let that sauce set. We are going to take off our pork butt. Hi. So, you know, we're getting right in there. Oh, so, I just saw some juice drip I mean. down. I'm just gonna pull enough for our sandwiches and I'll dress some of this. Take a little bit of our sauce. We're gonna oh, yes. dress our pork with it. Oh, you put the bun right there. All right. I thought it was took us back. Wow. The gentle smoke of that pork butt, the sweet stickiness and that deep flavor of the barbecue glazed sauce we made, 